Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on on November 4th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well as earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at the last two days of imagery on our sun, as we did have a couple strong M-class solar flares overnight since last night's update. Earth-facing position from the sunspot region cresting into view. You can see that firing away in the last few images. Having a look here at the last two days incoming, there is a pretty complex uh, sunspot grouping that is turning into view ahead of this active sunspot region. Looking at outgoing here, there was a coronal mass ejection over the last few hours in the outgoing position from that most recent C-class solar flare. So multiple solar flares, two strong M-class solar flares. Having a look at multi-spectrum here, pointing out the last two days of events and as well active sunspot regions, coronal holes, two that are turning it away and a pretty deep one here developing in the southern hemisphere. Same with the north. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with daily events worldwide. If you're enjoying these updates, please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Maybe share with your friends and family. Here's the most recent M-class solar flare from 3883. Eight Earth-facing sunspots right now. And look at that beast of a sunspot right in the center of disk. Earth-facing right now. Getting ready for the Earth-facing party. Having a look at these sunspot regions in motion. Just amazing. This sunspot here, you can stack about four Earths inside that sunspot region. Unbelievable. Current space weather conditions, we are under R2 Moderate radio blackout impacts expected from the most recent C-class and M-class solar flares. Solar flux coming in at 242 SFU. Definitely being radiated right now. Solar winds are coming in at 435 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see, two strong M-class solar flares and multiple minor M-class solar flares. We've seen about 10 of them just in the past two days. Solar proton flux really low geomagnetic activity was hopping up to a kp4 throughout the day today having a look at the space weather prediction center showing the most recent coronal mass ejection and our next space weather event which is expected november 6th well november 5th into the 6th iswa space prediction spiral here with the most recent cme expected arrival november 6th here as well so look up tomorrow night and the night after as the next few days there will be geomagnetic instability and there is the most recent outgoing coronal mass ejection. Looks pretty busy there on the right side of the sun around us. Having a look at Alaska 2 showing what they're trying to uh, show us here two days of imagery but it looks like there is a lot of time missing. No major CMEs to observe here. No sun diving comets. Just some amazing cosmic energies leaving our sun. Here's a look at tonight's Aurora view line versus tomorrow night's Aurora view line. Will be better tomorrow night. Now let's get to earthquakes here the past 24 hours as we are really low. Like we're talking 135 earthquakes the past 24 hours. Deepest being this 602 kilometer depth earthquake, Lavuka, Fiji. Now we can expect a larger shallow earthquake to follow here. We did have that 5.8 yesterday at uh, Dak, Alaska. But another deep earthquake here, Bolivia. Deep earthquake, Afghanistan. Something's building up. We had quite a large eruption. Volcanic eruption at Luatobi Volcano, eastern Indonesia, southeast Indonesia. 
big plume, multiple being multiple people being affected by the ash cloud. Overlooking United States, largest being a 3.4 there, Northern California, Ferndale, Rec Jane's Ridge with a 4.9, increasing seismicity up into Iceland. Expect another eruption there. Quiet across the, Af the Atlantic plate, 5.2 yesterday, Greece. And this is a look at the last seven days for shakers across the world. All the red depicting a populated planet. And all these rings depicting the last seven days for earthquakes. 6.2 this week did ring out Pacific Northwest, Juan de Fuca. Let's carry on here with the air quality forecast brought to you by the active interrupting volcanoes around the world. Popo Pocatetl still putting on a show in Mexico and Kamchatka, Eastern Russia, Northern Japan, active volcanoes through the region as well. Aleutian Islands, slight air quality index increase. But then overlooking here, Indonesia, look north of Australia. That big S2, SO2 plume was not there yesterday. Very large eruption at the Luatobi volcano, eastern Indonesia. It's been an active one for a while, but this is a very large eruption. As you can see, SO2 piling up, ash particulates part it, piling up, eastern Jakarta. As well, notable there, northern Indonesia at the Ibu volcano. Large eruption throughout the day today. Right now, there are an active and erupting 67 volcanoes across the planet. I've never reported that many in my broadcasting history, which has been seven years. But still, it's been increasing every year. Here's a look at live satellite imagery showing that large ash particulate and SO2 plume coming out of eastern Indonesia from the Luatobi. Really close to Timor-Leste. We've got Tropical Storm Marsh. Mark? I guess it's Mark. Looks like it will be a Category 2 when it makes landfall. Northern Philippines. We've also got Tropical Storm Raphael, which could be a Category 2 hurricane when it makes landfall Cuba. Let's have a look at our forecast here. Forecast models from windy.com. We do have an extreme weather event unfolding across the central United States and eastward. Very windy and snowy event for BC, Alberta, and Alaska. Long range forecast, extreme weather event for Texas, Albuquerque, New Mexico. And then watch as Rafael lingers around the Gulf of Mexico right off the coast of Texas. Long range forecast shows it sweeping northeastward. But notable here, strong systems pushing through the BC coast, piling up the snow, snow falling as far south as Texas. There's Rafael scooting into the West Gulf of Mexico. Long range forecast shows it stalling there, right around Corpus Christi, Texas. Overlooking Europe, North Africa. High pressure ridge locked in for most of Europe. But moisture lingering all around the Mediterranean. High pressure ridge keeping all these systems at bay except for Ireland. Lingering moisture all through the Mediterranean. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected worldwide. Overlooking Australia, Southeast Asia, South Africa. Tropical storm Mark looks like it will be just grazing parts of Taiwan and the Philippines before scooting north or south. Other than that, no major cyclones. Just watch for low pressure systems bringing rain and tight isobars to bring very strong winds. Stay aware and prepared. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due.